Hello, art teachers. My name is Karen Wright, and I am going to do an instructional video on how to mount your artwork for the YAM Art Show. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna measure your artwork. After you measure it, you can add um, a fourth of an inch that goes all the way around, um, and then cut out that size of paper. So your first step is, this is an optional step, you do not have to have a fourth inch of black going around your artwork, but if you want to, um, this is what it would look like. You can use glue stick or um, rubber cement. I prefer rubber cement. Make sure you're getting all the way, but make sure it doesn't drip. Make sure you get all the way to your edges so that it stays really nice and doesn't peel off during the art show. And I would go all over, you know, like the trick you can do rubber cement on both pieces. You can do it on the black and on this piece for extra stickiness. Um, and sometimes if you let it dry a little bit in between, that's a good tip, but really any way you wanna do it. I wouldn't use uh, white glue though. And then take your time getting it nice and straight, but also give yourself a break because it doesn't need to be perfect, perfect. I'm not a perfectionist, so that kind of thing doesn't really matter to me. All right, after it is mounted on the black paper, you are ready to mount it onto your white foam core. And you are not allowed to use regular poster board. It has to be like this because the way when we hang it by the clips, the way it hangs, if it has on regular poster board, it will curl in and it just won't look good. So now from the black size, the black paper size, you're going to add on two and a half inches all the way around. So that would be take your measurement and then add five to both sides and then it will work. So then you're going to glue this down you can also use rubber cement for this or glue stick or whatever adhesive you want to use. Remember when we used to use spray adhesive before it was poison? All right, so, okay. Now I'm gonna carefully center this so that there's two and a half inches all the way around. If you're a perfectionist and you want to take a ruler at this point and measure two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, all the way around, you could do that. That's not really my style, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. Next step is to go on the computer, follow the guidelines to type up your label. It's student name, then title of the work in quotation marks, then comma, um, material used, then name of the school, name of the arts teacher, and grade then it doesn't really matter what size you cut this out as long as it fits in that two and a half border. Then you're gonna put, you're gonna glue that down onto your border. Um, you're gonna do it in the right hand corner. I think it looks best if it is lined up with this edge instead of way over here. Um, but if you put it all the way over here, we'll still hang your artwork in the art show. All right, the, and then this one's ready to be submitted, okay? If you have oil pastel or chalk pastel, put a piece of newsprint down so it doesn't transfer onto other art. The last thing I wanna talk about is 3D work. So, my husband made this when he was in middle school. Isn't it great? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do with 3D work is you are going to do the exact same type of label, except for you're gonna make two. One of the labels, you that has all the exact same information, student name, title, art teacher, grade, you're gonna take that and you're gonna tape it somehow to the bottom, however you wanna do that. If it's a really small thing, you might want to put it on a piece of paper and then put the artwork on top of it. We just need to have a way that if it gets separated from its label, we can easily figure out who it belongs to, okay? Then, for the people to see at the art show, you're going to make that same label, same format, cut out a piece of black paper. You get to choose the size. So, whatever size you think is best, then you're going to glue that down and you're going to submit that with your 3D art. 
Remember, the 3D art is not locked up, but I used to teach 3D art in high school in um, ceramics, and I would have submitted stuff without worrying about it. Then you'll submit this with your artwork, and we don't have to worry about you know, this being attached onto here because it's on the bottom, and we'll be able to figure out what goes with what. All right, if you have any questions for my instructional video, feel free to email me. Um, otherwise, happy mounting.